Now, the rest of the story. You've heard of Indiana Jones and his quest to recover the lost ark? Indiana Jones was a fictional character. Missouri Sam was a real man. And I mean a real man. Missouri Sam's adventures in exotic places were the stuff of which legends are made. And yet Missouri Sam actually lived those adventures. I mean, he was there. In that dimly lit dungeon that one day, with snakes all around him, hundreds of them, suddenly he looked up in the gloom and saw an eight-foot python only a breath from where he stood, and that snake was as fat as a man's head, and he looked hungry, and he started to move. But Missouri Sam moved faster and escaped. Then there was the time Missouri Sam was sloshing his way through slimy, hip-deep water. Suddenly it was as though the swamp gave way beneath him and he was all at once in over his head. Sam's hip boots quickly filled with water, dragging him to the bottom. He flailed, clutching in all directions for something solid to hold on to. Somehow a hand found a chunk of wood to which he clung until a rescue party arrived. Took five men forming a human chain to extricate Missouri Sam but once more he lived to tell. In Missouri Sam's exploits, the natives are almost always restless. There was the time he was kidnapped by three of them, two females and a huge menacing male. After locking Sam in their lair, one of the women turned to the man, said something which Sam interpreted as, what should we do with him? And the man just grunted. And Sam tried his best to communicate with them. And then after what seemed an eternity, the other woman regarded Sam with burning eyes and said distinctly, you want to get out of here? Then get on your hands and knees and pray for your release. She further informed Sam that she, meanwhile, would be awaiting word from the gods to determine his fate. Well, Missouri Sam was on all fours in an instant, and he stayed on his knees for half an hour before the gods sanctioned his freedom. Through all of Missouri Sam's adventures, he lost a fist fight only once. That time his opponent was more than six feet tall and weighed at least 220 and, and was a woman. But I mean a real Amazon. She punched him in the head and clawed his face, elbowed him in the... in the gut and picked him up by his hair and threw him to the ground and then kicked him after he was down and all of this in a day's work for Missouri Sam. Sam Gentile. Sam Gentile, the now retired tough case expert, employed for 44 years by St. Louis, Missouri's Laclede Gas Company. His exploits would have made Indiana Jones grow pale. And Missouri Sam lived every one of them, all of those 44 years, braving basements infested by snakes and filled with swampy sewer water and entering homes inhabited by belligerent housewives and hostile hostage takers and ferocious animals of every description, all in the course of his job as a gas company meter reader. And now you know the rest of the story.